Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will guide you how to use the ruler in Microsoft Word. This video will cover Microsoft Word 365, 2019, 16, 13, and 2010, as you can see here. And I will take you through the turn on the ruler, set the tab stop using the ruler, how to clear the tab stop, the use of the first line hanging left and right in dance. Just first now check how to turn on the ruler. If you don't see the ruler, like this one here, the horizontal ruler or the vertical ruler, just go to view tab, this one here. And on the show section, go to ruler. You need to make sure that the ruler check box here is checked. This box should be checked. Now we uncheck it, you see we don't see the ruler, but if we check it, we'll be able to see the ruler. Let's check now how to set the tab stop using the ruler. Well, tab control is used to add various tabs to the ruler for indenting, centering, and otherwise consistently managing text within a paragraph or document. A left tab stop sets the left end of the text line. As you type, the text fills toward the right. Let's now set the left tab stop because here the left tab stop is active and then we just click anywhere here on the ruler where we want our text to, to be to begin. So we click on, maybe let's check on number one. We click here. Now you see the left tab stop he appears here, as you can see. And now if we press the tab, it will direct move to this tab stop here. But but now how to how to remove this tab stop? You just drag over away from the ruler like this one. Now we don't have the, the ruler again. The, the, we don't have the tabs left tab stop in this ruler. Let's now click on number two. Now you see we are here and our text is in here. And once you click, it sets the left end of the text. You see, we click and hold. Let's now check the second option. We have to click here again to switch to the option. And the option we have here is the center tab, tab stop. A center tab stop sets the position at the middle of the text line. As you type, the text centers on this position. Let's first remove or we can just press enter and again type another word, maybe contact, contact. And then let's set the center tab stop in our ruler, maybe at the number three or number four, click here. Now you see we have the center, tab stop. And now let's go to our text and click on the tab. You see? It's just move directly to and now can you see now the difference between the left tab stop and the center tab stop? It sets the position at the middle of the text line as you can see here. Let's now go to the next option. We click this is the right tab. The right tab stop sets the right end of the text line. As you type, the text fills towards the left. So now we already press the enter. Let's type, let's type last name. Last name, for, for example, last name. First, we need to set the right tab stop option. Because it's active here, we need to click anywhere. Maybe let's click a number one. And then let's click tab. We are here. Now check the difference. Now you see 
a right tab stop sets the right end of the text line. You see, you can see using this line, you just click on the, the tab stop option and then you hold. You see. One more option, let's check a decimal tab stop. A decimal tab stop, you need to switch now, click. Now you see the icon has changed and once you point, it's a decimal tab stop. A decimal tab stop aligns numbers around a decimal point. Without regard to the number of digits, the decimal point remains in the same position. Let's, let's now try because the decimal tab, tab stop option is already active, let's click at number 5 here. We already have it here. And then let's type. Suppose maybe we are typing the price. It's maybe maybe 200 US dollars. Maybe something like this. And then press tab up to 5. Here, yeah, somewhere here, and click C. Yes, just change click. Can you see now the option? Tab stop arrange number around the decimal point, as you can see here. So now check the last option, which is the click switch here. We have a bar tab. A bar tab stop doesn't position text. It inserts a vertical bar at the tab position, unlike other tabs. The bar tab is added to the text as soon as you click the ruler. If you don't clear the bar tab stop before you print your document, the vertical line is printed. Now let's check how to use a bar tab stop. Now suppose you have a list of these names or you can just have a list of anything and you want now just to set a, a, a bar tab stop option here. What you need to do, make sure the bar tab stop is active in here. Once you point, you see bar tab, and then you highlight if it's the list of the names or if it's just one name, you just click um, at the beginning of the word and then click here. Maybe we now want the bar tab stop to, to appear at zero from 0 0.5. Just click here. This is how it looks like. This is how to insert a bar tab stop. Now let's see in detail how we can use, um, we'll just use the lefty, a lefty tab stop and a decimal tab stop. We just create just a simple list here. Maybe let's clear this. Let's clear all this. And make sure we remove all the, we clear all the tab stop option here. We just drag over away from the ruler. We just drag, drag it here and drag this is here. Yeah, we don't have now tab stop option set. Now let's suppose we need to write a menu at a certain cafeteria. Maybe it's faith, faith cafeteria menu. Name and we went to set for drinks. Maybe just to highlight to the center and then um, drinks. And then let's set this, it should start at one. We, we are going to set the left tab option. Click here to set the tab option. Make sure that you press a tab and then we have, if we click here and hold, yes, we have the drinks here. And let's set at number five, let's set the price. Another tab press and just light price, press at each, each drink, at each drink. And then press tab, yeah, we are here. Yeah, and let's press enter and start mentioning the drinks, maybe soda, juice, wine, coffee, milk, yeah, it's enough, this list is enough. 
So what we can do, we have a list of drinks here. So we need to set the tab we already set for this one here. So we need to set the, this group. Another option, instead of setting one, one, one item after another, we just highlight this and then we click on the paragraph and then click on, um, click on tabs. And then what, where do we want it to, to align? We want it to, to align at, excuse me, we did not highlight, we did not select this. Again, select all and then click on paragraph, then tabs. And then we don't have the we don't have the uh, tab stop here. Then we're going to set it. We're going to set it zero point five. No, we're going to set at one. Just set it to a line at one, and then it should be left. And then we said set. We have it here. Again, we are going to set. We say okay. And the press tab, yes, we have them here at one. Number one, once you create, yes, you see them aligned to one. We already have a list aligned at the left with using the left tab option. So now we need to set the prices. Let's go back to Desmo tab. You can still use the paragraph to set it. Or you can just click here and just click anywhere where you want the the tab the decimal tab stop option to appear but for this case let's go use the paragraph option click on tabs and then add it should be we're going to add should we use six yes let's use six let's use six six and then what what type of alignment it's there's more and then you click okay and then it's here now point it's read a decimal tab now let's type the price five thousand five hundred press the tab until you are here Yes, can you see now how the decimal tab option? If you can recall, we said the decimal tab stop aligns numbers around a decimal point. So can you see? Maybe 600, press the tab again. Yes, we are here. Can you see? Yes. Maybe this is one servant. Again, press the tab. And curve, maybe it's 800. And mark, it's 500 as well. Yes, let's click here now. Yes, see how the decimal tab stop option works. Okay, well, let's now check how to use indents. The first line hanging left and left and right indent. So let's use this document to be able to get familiar with the indents. So you can just see it here. This is the first line indent here, the first triangle, the triangle on the top, the first line indent. And this one, the second, this is called the hanging indent, but this square here is called left indent. And this one here, is called the right indent. Let's now first check the left indent. The left indent, this one here, sorry. Yes, this one here. The left indent sets the position of the left side of a paragraph. When you move the left indent, your first line indent of hanging indent are, are moved in sync. On the ruler, drag the square mark on the lower left side of the ruler to the place where you want you want the left edge of the paragraph. Let's now select the text. And now we drag this square, which is the left indent. Let's select, maybe you want it to at one. Point it here. Can you see? This is how the left indent works.
Let's check now the right indent here. This is the right indent. This one here. The right indent marker controls the position of the right side of the paragraph. Select the text where you want to set the, the right indent. For this case, let's select this one here, this text. And then on the ruler, drag the triangular mark on the lower right side of the ruler to the place where you want the right edge of the paragraph. Suppose you want it at five. Can you see? Or can you see here or somewhere here? 25. So let's take it back to default. But this is how you can set the indent using the right indent. Let's check the first line indent. The first line indent, this is the upper triangle on your horizontal ruler. Can you check first line indent as it shows? With the first line indent, the first line of a paragraph is indented and the following lines of a paragraph are not. Select the text where you want to add the first line indent. Let's now go to the third paragraph here. Select the text, maybe this one here. We need this one, the first line. Ruler. Drag the triangle mark on the top left of the ruler to the place you want the indentation to start. For example, to the one mark. Yes. For instance, we want this line to start at here. So this is the first line indent. Let's now move. Yes. We are here. Can you now share? So this is how the first line indent works. Let's check the hanging indent. The hanging indent. This is the hanging indent. Can you see it here? With hanging indent, the second and all the following lines of a paragraph are indented more than the first. Select the text where you want to add hanging indent. On the ruler, drag the upper triangle part of the lower mark to the place you want the indentation to start. For example, at mark one. So we select it. Maybe we go to the fourth paragraph here. This one here. Select this. And let's go now to point here on the hanging indent. Let's now take it to one. Okay, can you see now how to use the hanging indent? Yeah, the, the second the second and all the following lines of a paragraph are indented more than the first. Can you see? Yeah. So this is how to work with a ruler in Microsoft Word for the mentioned version 2010 up to 2019, including Microsoft 365. Well, and this is the end of the lesson on how to use the ruler in Microsoft Word. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss the coming video. Thank you.